thinking doing at least one more of these might do two more um, but thinking about possibly switching up car class so we can get in split one and then be in you know full multi-class race which would be pretty wild Best reaction time. Everyone remember your brakes are cold, your tires are cold. Still there. Clear on the left, on your left. Hold your line. Keep your line. He's still with you. Still there. Still there. That's not good. I'm tempted to. I'm considering McLaren. I kind of wanted to see if there were any new cars coming with the track. But since there's not, we're going to do McLaren or maybe even Aston. Okay, we're on a decent stop. We can build something from here. Positions are all mixed up right now. And some 36, guy had his 24th. Everyone else's positions switching around except for mine, which is kind of worrying me. Like, does it think I cut the track at some point? Same 13th now. Alright, this is where we get settled in. Someone got disqualified for speeding in pit lane somehow already. Very difficult track to pass on. Just by pace, like someone makes a mistake, obviously, but. Really is just about attrition. That's kind of why I used the default setup instead of the Go, like, Nurburgring GP. Because I would assume the default setup that they have would take the curves into account.
He was rolling just enough where I was worried he was going to kind of spin across the track, but luckily he did not. This corner always catches me out. Not as bad as it did that guy. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think I'm quick enough at this track in this game yet where the setup is going to be the differentiator. All right, slow car up here. That's not the push you want to end up. Especially because I may try uh, Oh my god. Butt kicker is insane there and only there. <laughs> Is it a good thing I don't live in an apartment with downstairs neighbors? You can carry a lot more speed there, and I think Fours is the last game I drove this track on, so probably not the best game to carry over habits from that dirt will kill you that's where I went off first practice lap here today Kind of hold on to, for dear life to the wheel when you drop the tire here. Just to try to keep the car straight. Oh! Kudos to him for keeping it on the side of the track. Alright, these two corners here, I never get the line right, so I'm gonna try to study what other people are doing. That went well. All right. I was going to say we survived lap one. Technically, there's still more. That's not even 10 minutes in. This is one hour here. It's going to be like two hours anywhere else. We are really getting a run up on this guy. Holy shit. Not enough to comfortably pass, though. So. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, sir. Please don't hit me, sir. Try it, Mercedes. Shit, nope, I'm just gonna leave it for you, but. We oh, yeah, the inside, all right. Hey, you see how much the pressure's dropped? Yeah, it's, it probably is a better idea to lower brake ducts. On a small part of the track, you might have tire pressure too high, but. Might pay off elsewhere. I'm gonna pay attention to this lap, the highest they get. All right, we're up to 11. I wanna say we were like 13th or something we started. We started lower than that, I think. 
Maybe not. Question is what happens if we kind of get into no man's land or on no other cars? Didn't mean to hit that. All right, so tell me I only have enough fuel for two more laps. Obviously, that's complete laps. I'm really interested to see where we end up fuel-wise. The nice thing is we have a... I gotta be real careful there. I keep carrying too much speed. The nice thing is we have a really long straight at the end of the lap to adjust fuel if we need it. <laughs> That's very true. I don't remember seeing him on the side of the road, so... I think we can carry more speed there. I just don't have the balls to do it. At least right now. Rotating to the left there. Middle of the track is where I think I'm faster than some of the guys ahead of me. good news is with foliage turned to low and visible cars set to 30 I am getting I mean I'm hitting my frame cap occasionally at 118 so performance on this track is basically in line with other tracks for the most part I got in here at first with uh car visibility set to all. I got in a practice lobby. I had like 90 cars in it. And I was getting like 50 FPS. Alright, we're in this portion in on the straight. Butt kicker workout. Oh shit, never mind. I think I ran out of fuel or something? That was odd. Alright, don't carry too much speed here.
All right, we're up to 10, the top 10. God, I love that section. Just let the weight and the momentum of the car do everything. All right, careful of the dirt. Only 15 minutes in. So bad. Oh, and someone stopped. Porsche got distracted. Please don't hit me. All right, that's two spots, right? Yep, that's an eight. Porsche is gonna get a tow. I don't know. What the top speed of it is, so I feel like the Porsche is one of the slower ones on the street. And obviously, he didn't have as much momentum carried onto the straight, so it looks like we'll be okay as far as he's concerned. Yeah, we're pulling ahead. All right, got another Porsche in front, and then a little, little pack of BMWs. Oh no! Pay attention to track limits. Please run down. Well, that's no bueno. Crew chief just tell me to ignore it. All right, we only have enough fuel to do one more complete lap. So I guess we need to pit after this one? That just seems early, but... I guess, uh... I guess I will need to put more fuel in. Hey, doing well, uh, Prince. Thanks for the follow. And yeah, that corner, I'm carrying more speed into it again. I think it's just based on Forza. <laughs> you can carry so much more speed in there and get hard on the brakes without the car getting so, so sideways. Yeah, I get that a lot. If only I was uh, as fast as he was, or is. There's some other, like, soccer or football player, depending on where you live, that uh, apparently I look like, too, I get all the time. one place from tapping the wall. People get penalties. Porsche is going to have a little bit of left side damage too. Yeah, it's the it's like the the curb on the right. You think you can take and 
it really just upsets the car. I mean, I may have, it may be helpful to not have so much ABS on, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little easier to just brake a little earlier. All right, so we are going to pit in this lap. It'll be a little early, but. Not so early. And then just to be safe, I think I am going to add another lap to get the fuel. To finish first, first you must finish. And to do that, we need enough fuel. Oversteer. Oversteer. All the steers. This one's a sketchy one too. It's very easy to carry so much speed in. Alright, we can definitely get this Porsche back. And I can see two cars not far ahead of him, so... Definitely have some places we can gain still. I want to switch it back to... Relative. Right as I was about to say, yeah, you just see, you don't need a lift. That was too close for comfort. All right, so those two guys ahead are battling. I think Porsche and I are gonna reel them in. There's no way that's good for your spine in real life. I love that section of the track. All right, let's see if we can pressure him into a mistake. Let me go. Thank you, sir. Hats off to him for saving that. That, that was that was a full-on code brown there. All right, we got two beamers ahead. No, a beamer and a Porsche. All right, go wide. 
then turn in. Okay. A little better than the last lap. Alright, we got Clint Eastwood ahead of us, I'm guessing. Didn't know he was into, uh, into sim racing at his age. Alright, so we don't pit here, right? Or do we? Oh, we do pit here. Look out for the pit speed limit. Alright, yeah, we're gonna add more fuel. Gonna just go ahead and repair damage. It's gonna be just full, safe. course. What are the chances? There's a car in my pit. Alright, we didn't have to be moved. Whew. Alright. Uh, not a horrible first stint. Definitely could have been worse. Hopefully we have enough fuel to finish this thing. Turn the pit limiter off there. That would have been embarrassing. It takes it is clear. Push now. All right. So we have six laps of fuel. That should be enough. Even if we have an extra one, I think. Yeah. Going pretty good. Had a minor little hiccup. You got like six seconds of damage. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but other than that, it's smooth. Pit stop. Just got finished. Added an extra lap of fuel. Shit, now I'm saying we only have five laps worth of fuel. We'll see. Hoping we finish. That's that's where we're at right now. Lose someone. A couple people crashed up ahead. Tires are cold. All right, the guy ahead of us is four position. Alright, don't carry too much into here. That was closer than I'd like it to be. Two people ahead of us have not bit yet. Oh, what am I doing?
So those are spots we'll get back. She said, I heard fuel. Hopefully, he said, looking good on fuel. Sun is coming up. Okay, good. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> he didn't sound uh, concerned, so. So I'm going to assume everything's okay. It's like when you're on an airplane and you're getting, like, turbulence. And you look at the, you know, flight attendants and they don't look nervous and you're like, all right, nothing to worry about. If the flight attendants look nervous, then I'll start worrying. I remember the sketchiest flight I've ever had. It was during a, there was like a hurricane going on and we didn't fly like in the hurricane obviously, but we were getting like the winds from it, like a state away. And it was like the first half of the flight was just, you know, kind of just bouncing around and doing this. And this like flight attendants were having a casual conversation, like nothing was going on. We're just that used to it. Definitely didn't need to slow down that much there. Now we are losing some drivers. We're down to 22 already. It's like, come on, this you know other people are going to wreck. You have a chance to catch up to others. No flag ahead. God, this is so bouncy. Slowly catching the Porsche up ahead. By slowly, I mean like a few tents. And the next three cars have to pit, so we're gonna get a guaranteed three spots. We will be back in the top ten. I don't know if anyone else has to pit in front of them. Hopefully so, though. Hey, what's going on, man? How are things with you? Yeah, I'm hoping it's the uh, same turnaround time as the GT2 pack was, because I feel like that was only like three or four weeks or something like that. Let's 
the one with the stop and go. I mean, they know how much money they'll make from it. There's no way they would. Like, GT2, I could understand if that didn't make it a console, because honestly, GT2 is almost dead on PC already. But. All right, so three people will get past here. Actually, it might be four. So many people get penalties. All right, we're up to seventh now. Uh, I know the track from other Sims, mainly like Forza and um, the first set of Corsa. So I know where I'm going. Um, obviously, you know, car behavior differs from sim to sim, so. Ah. I didn't notice that. I didn't really practice pit entry in. Although, I guess I had a car in front of me, so I could kind of tell. Yeah, it's been non-stop, people speeding in the pit lanes. Clint Eastwood got a, stop, got a drive through, so we'll get past him. All right, we've gained two seconds on the Porsche ahead. Last lap. We could be looking at a top five. Started like 13, 14, something like that. Sector 2, although this track might be divided into more than three sectors, I'm not sure. But the middle sector is where we seem to gain most of our time. We should be getting there shortly. We might start running into back markers too. Perfect there. Too wide. You can see the Porsche. Got a glimpse of him. There he is.
I do not like that corner. to go. The guy behind us is faster than us, but he does have a stop and go, so... I am not against letting him by. It's convenient. Buddy, you can go. Chief didn't say anything about that. I didn't think I had a yellow flag flashing on my wheel unless I was just too focused on Ferrari. Push is under four seconds. Porsche's next, then that Ferrari. He's probably going to pit to do a stop and go. There's a back marker. Someone else has a stop and go. Are they ahead of us? Yeah, there's... Honeysuit is already in the pits. He might actually uh, get out of... stay in front of us. There's a car ahead of him that has a stop and go. Ferrari is not serving his pit yet. There's penalty. Alright, we're up to six. Man, two cars ahead of us at a stop and go, like. If we keep it together, the podium might even be on the cards? I don't know. So we're going to have to do three more laps, including this one. And, uh... Well, maybe. We have enough fuel to do three full laps, so that's good. So we know we won't have to do like a splash dash. Fifteen minutes remaining. Fifteen minutes to go. 
15 minutes. Keep lifting there, I don't think I need to. Or if I do, not as much as I am. See if first place has a penalty or not. Crunch just lose all traction, start pushing. Fifth. I don't know if someone left. Yeah, our front tires are struggling ever so slightly. All right, a little over 10 minutes left. Two more laps after this one, most likely. So brutal.
Oh. Oh, I know. He sounds so good, too. You can tell when the car's bouncing around just by the exhaust. God, every lap I want to do that. All right. Stay on the right. Woo! Stewards of warm is about track limits. Keep it between the lines. I'll take the track limit warning because we survived. That, I'm not 100% sure. I want to say no. I want to say it's like right in the center mass, but I'm definitely not the like authority on that. And yeah, I don't know if you can mess with the ballast or not in single player. Looks like some people are... Nope, none of the guys ahead are pitting. Alright, so now we're in P5. Yeah, it's, we were just in the middle of the track where the place got screwed up or something. So two guys ahead of me have a stop and go. Potentially, can get past him. First place does not have any kind of penalty, so I think he's safe. This does seem like it's a hard track to get a drive-through penalty for track limits on. Anywhere other than the GP part of the circuit, if you go wide, you're pretty much hitting fence, so it's definitely not going to gain you time. Bring the car home. Of course, you didn't pit. So, this damage isn't enough to affect him too much, I guess. Which is good. I definitely didn't want to pass him by him. Shit! Yeah. Oh my god. Cannot be distracted going into that corner. <laughs> it's so easy to overshoot. For me personally, I guess. But yeah, I definitely didn't want to get past the Porsche by him crashing. But... I think we would have been able to get by him on the straight with the toe. Luckily, we weren't the cause of his crash, and we didn't get involved in it. minutes. Maybe the leader has a large enough gap where he won't want to do another lap. And he can just slow down for the finish line.
Because I don't know how my tires are feeling about another lap. The thing I love about this track, though, is points like now where, you know, I'm not racing wheel to wheel with somebody. One, the track itself is enough of a challenge to keep things interesting. And then two, it's such a long track too that it doesn't get repetitive. Wasn't very nice. Come on, Ferrari, I've been nothing but good to you. We're down to 20 drivers. We started with like 33 or something. <laughs> Car head. Oh, it's the guy with the. Uh... No, it's not the guy with the stop and go. Oh shit. The guy in front is Interesting. Does he have a ton of damage? Are we going to be able to pass him on pace? That was like an unpleasant sensation through the wheel. <laughs> that jump landing. Just, it felt that and was like, that is not a good thing. Hey, you know what? 15 minute lap time, but finishing the race, you would have beat like 13 people in this lobby. So, all right, I think the guy in first is, has he already, start, has he already started his lap? I think slow car ahead again. Leader finished the race. Okay, we don't have to do another lap. All right, I think we are gonna get third because those two guys the stop and goes. We're gonna get, yeah, plus 60 seconds. 
And I think they were... The one was like 40 and the one was like 20 or something, so... Three bonus points for finishing the race. That doesn't seem like very many. Whew! Alright, so this is one that I want to stay in to see um, where we end up after penalties, but 66, yeah. He only finished 0.6 behind the leader, that's why he stayed in the race. He could prove a point if he finished ahead of him. Oh, I guess Audi died. There's only 19 drivers in here now. The Audi driver must have died because he's no longer in here. Aston driver's gone. I don't think there are any other weird cars. Uh, that's about as good of a first race here as I can honestly ask for. Um, got a little bit of damage, but nothing that destroyed the car. Um, was around other cars for the most part, most of the uh, most of the race. And, uh, yeah, I gained a, quite a few spots. Like I said, I think we started, well, let me see if I hit it here. So we started 16th. I was thinking 13th, 14th. So we started 16th. Now, granted, I could have qualified higher if I didn't screw up a second lap, but, um, and finished what I believe is going to be third place once it's all said and done. People are leaving, but honestly, the next race doesn't start for 23 minutes, so.